Hello guys and welcome back to another uh, tutorial. So today what we're going to cover is how to make a trident uh, weapon uh, using a range item. So right here I have just basic range item and uh, I've created like a spear texture out of the trident texture. So uh, the thing, the procedures that we are actually using are um, two procedures. I've used uh, one across uh, the when bullet hits block, when bullet hits player, and when bullet hits entity. And then the other one that I've used is uh, for when range item used. I'll get into those in a second. So if uh, we go over here, uh, you can see the settings that I've used. I've basically had um, have it so it's uh, only a maximum stack size of one. Uh, the item usage is set to zero and uh, the entity uh, texture for the projectile uh, is the same as uh, the, the weapon itself. Uh, it would probably be easier to make a custom uh, projectile using a Java entity um, and then kind of model it after, say, something like the spear itself so it looks like it's actually being thrown properly. Uh, you'll see how it basically looks like if you use this particular texture. Uh, in the test environment. And then for the damage and power and all this other stuff, it, you can customize this how you want it to be pretty much on all this uh, section right here. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, the uh, maximum stack size and the count must be the same. So if you save and close that, then uh, I'll, um, I'll basically show you when the entity hits a particular thing. So I have it set up currently to have a 50% chance of dropping. If not, then it's not going to drop anything. It's just going to disappear the item. Uh, you can basically just remove that part right here and it will uh, always drop the item. But I found that a little bit OP. So I thought maybe having it at a percent would be a little bit uh, more balanced for um, you know, not always dropping the item each time. So that's basically the procedure. We're just spawning a gem that can be found under world management. And then if you scroll down, it's right here. And most of you probably know how to set up a random procedure. It's pretty simple. You just need an if statement, um, a regular number comparator, and uh, a number value as well as the randomizer uh, thing here and then you just stick that make sure it's on greater equal to or greater than symbol and you should be good to go and for the last procedure uh, we have when the item basically is used so or the range item is used so what we're doing here is we're uh, checking for the uh, item in the, the main the entity's main hand if it's the current item then what we're doing is we're removing one of the current item in the main hand so what this will basically do is remove um, the range item from the inventory each time it's used so it's dropping when it's uh, hitting something out of chance of obviously with this example but uh, it's always being removed from the inventory. So it's a constant uh, loop. So it's kind of like a trident in that sense. All right, so let's hop in game and I'll show you how everything works. All right, so I have a bunch of spears in my inventory. What we're gonna do is we're going to test it out. And as you can see, it will always take it from the left-hand side, but um, it does have a chance of dropping, but that time it didn't. So let's try it again. As you can see, it dropped that time. Didn't drop that time. So that didn't drop. That I think missed. That missed. And there's a chance it's not it's not doing it lately. Uh, but it will uh, have a 50% chance of actually dropping. Let's grab some more spears. So let's go into creative. I'll just shoot a bunch of those spears at the ground. See, it drops. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. You can remove that function by removing the randomizer 
if you want to, um, or adjusting the percent that it drops. Um, in order to make it uh, basically drop more frequently, you want to lower this number. So this would give it a 75% chance of dropping, uh, where five would um, basically only be a 50%. 75 would be a 25% and uh, you, you get the idea. So uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to making a uh, Trident-like uh, item. So um, hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, um, and uh, click the silver bell to stay notified. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.